Hi guys, Heather Ballantyne here. So today I'm excited to talk you through the spec of this Ad Personum 2022 Lamborghini Urus in Viola Pasifé. So Viola Pasifé has always been one of my favorite purple paints. It's amazing. It has a lot of depth to it, a little bit of fuchsia undertones. And I was really excited to see Ad Persona make it available for Urus. But I haven't actually specced a lot of Urus in this paint. So when this client chose to do it, I was super excited. So typically when someone orders a wild paint for the exterior, they try to do a contrast color or match. But with this Viola Pacife, we don't have an interior match. So the client wanted to do white, a Bianco Leda, in fact. And since there are no white calipers, he decided to introduce a third color and do orange caliper. So it's a pretty out there spec, but it's really fun. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And fortunately with Lambo, you can pretty much pull off anything. It's one of those brands that anything works, go big or go home. So the client decided to add the 23 inch shiny black rims. It's the Tagi rim and I actually love this wheel. It's large, the shiny black is simple but it definitely gives the car a cool presence, it grounds it, it just looks very fierce. And with the orange caliper it works, it pops. So we have a lot of bright color on the exterior. And then when you open to the interior, you're gonna see the white and black Sportivo interior. Now, this is certainly not a spec for everyone, but I really love the way it turned out, especially when I think of the client's personality. It just works for him. He also added the Bang & Olufsen Advanced 3D Audio System. I think this is a must with any Urus. And the Panoramic Roof is another option that I think you must have in your Urus. He added the ambient light package. I don't really need this package, but Lily, my younger assistant, she loves it. So depending on your generation, you may feel that you need this. It also has the heated and heat reflected windscreen, which is really important for Canada because we drive our Lambos year round. And he added black roof rails, so he must be planning to use those. You know, I don't know if he's gonna put a box up there or yeah, what he's doing, but with Urus, the sky's the limit. You can off-road, you can do all sorts of things. This is the Lambo that does it all. So it makes sense if you're gonna have that type of lifestyle, go ahead and add the black roof rails when you order because you cannot retrofit it later. He added the style package in high gloss black. I think this is a beautiful exterior choice. It also ties in the shiny black wheel. It just gives all of those high gloss black accents and the end result is beautiful. He went with a black matte exhaust tailpipe as well. So that way you don't see any silver back there. And when you look to the interior, you're gonna notice he added the black anodized treatment on all of the aluminum. So all of those gloss black and matte black accents outside carry through to the interior as well. While we're on interior, you're gonna notice that he added the Cusatura stitching on the leather. I really love this option on Urus. The cars kind of look a little plain or naked without it. It's not necessarily a cheap option. This price is in at $44.26, so $4,426, but I think it adds a lot of bang for buck. He also chose to add the floor mats with leather piping and double stitching, and he did a perforated leather heated steering wheel with contrast stitching. So this is a very small option, but I love the way it makes the steering wheel look. I think it's a very important option to choose when you're specking your Urus. He also added full electric front seats with ventilation and massage. You guys know I'm a huge fan of that. And he did the embroidered Lamborghini shield on the headrest. Something interesting that this car has is the four seat configuration. We don't see this a lot with Urus. Usually Urus is families, they want a bench seat that can fold down. But in this case, it's a younger single guy and a four seat configuration made sense. 
I really love the look of it. You get the two rear seats with the center console, but again, we just don't see it too often. All in all, I absolutely love the spec. It's stunning, and I'm so glad the owner allowed me to share it with you. Thanks so much, guys, and as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan.